In this video, I will show how we can render 2D and 3D graphs in Blender. This is not the fastest way, but it's a great way to improve the look of your graphs. Okay, so before we open Blender, we need to go to the GeoGebra 3D calculator, which is free, and uh, then generate the graphs in uh, GeoGebra. And we can then export it into Blender and make it look a, a lot better. So let's say we create this graph, for example, with uh, cos x and then sin y, with x and y as the variables. And then you can hold in shift to rescale the axis. So we'll hold in shift and drag the different axis. And then we can go into the settings and I'm going to hide the plane so uh, disable show plane and the next we're going to export it so uh, let's go to download as and then uh, dot dae and then export from my experience that's the only format that works well with blender and the next i'm just going to add a basic sun to the scene and then import the model. So dot .dae, go to downloads, and then select the uh, file that you just exported, and then press S2 scale. And as you can see, there are uh, some errors, and some extra graphs that you do not need. So just delete those. And these as well. And now we have the uh, mesh that we need for the uh, render. So I'm uh, going to delete the uh, light that comes with the uh, model. And then we can go to the render settings and increase the number of samples. And then let's select the uh, model itself, delete the material, do it for both of them. And then we can add a new material, which looks a bit better. So uh, let's use a diffuse material. I'm just going to give it a uh, white color, but you can of course add whatever color you want to. And then I'm going to make the background a bit darker because I think that looks a bit better. And then we can also go to the uh, render settings and switch to cycles. If you want the uh, render to look even better, and more realistic. If you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And I'm going to increase the number of samples to make the render look better. Now, if you want to add the numbers to the graph, you can just um, copy the numbers that you see on the graph and then add them as uh, text objects. And then press R, X, the 90. And you can also change the font under the font settings and uh, select this one for example and press tab to change the text and then we have 0.5 and uh, so on and then you can just duplicate the text and uh, change it so uh, shift d to duplicate and then tab to change the text now, this is of course not the most time efficient way to create uh, 3D graphs, but uh, the results will be a uh, lot better visually. So if you want a, a good looking paper and so on, this uh, technique is uh, really nice. And when it comes to uh, 2D graphs, you can use the same method. So let's um, write fx equals x squared, for example. And then once again, we can export it into Blender. So uh, let's uh, go to download as, and in this case, we're going to use .svg, which is the uh, best way to export two dimensional graphs from GeoGebra to Blender, in uh, my opinion. And I press X to delete the default cube, import, and then uh, .svg. 
and then select the file that we just uh, downloaded. And then next, instead of selecting all of the curves and objects individually, we can just drag to select, or press B to box select, and then press S to scale up these uh, objects and uh, curves. And then next, to make these curves three-dimensional, I'm going to add a uh, Bezier circle. So go to curve, and then circle, after pressing Shift A, and then select the uh, curves to go back to the normal selection and then go into the curve settings and then under geometry and bevel you go to object and then you select the uh, bezier circle and right now it's uh, really large we need to select the bezier circle press s and uh, scale it down a uh, lot Okay, and then we're going to use that Bezier circle for the rest of the grid as well. So let's uh, select these, an object, and then select the Bezier circle. And then we can add the Bezier circle to the rest of the grid as well. And then for the axis, you can use the uh, same Bezier circle. But if you want this uh, axis to be a bit thicker than the rest of the grid, you can just add an additional Bezier circle. Like this one. And then select the axis. And uh, then we need to scale the new Bezier circle down. As you can see, we now have axis as well. And then we can add an additional one for the graph itself. So uh, we add Bezier Circle 2. And then we scale down the Bezier Circle. And that's how you get a uh, two-dimensional graph into Blender and uh, make it three-dimensional. And then you can add the materials and the lighting to the uh, scene later on. Now, once again, Blender is, of course, not the uh, fastest way to uh, create graphs, as you have to import them into Blender and then add lighting and materials. But I've gotten a, a lot of questions in my comments on how to do it, so I decided to cover it in this tutorial. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.